So let's start off with some history of the Bollinger Bands. You know, Bollinger Bands are not a new tool. They've been around for a little while, but they're still a foreign tool to a lot of people. So let's start with kind of a definition. I'm going to use John Bollinger's definition himself. He's the one that described it this way, and here's the way he said it. In describing Bollinger Bands, he says, Bollinger Bands are bands that are drawn in and around the price structure of a chart, and their purpose is to provide a relative definition of high and low prices. That is a great description and definition of of what the Bollinger Bands are. They overlay on your chart and they provide a framework around which a relative structure gets built. Oftentimes when we talk about charting a stock, we talk about uh, building a framework. It's the first step in charting a stock. Well, the Bollinger Bands do that for us and that's why we really use them so much and that's why they're such a great tool. So take a look here at this chart. This is of a first solar and uh, you can see the way that this is uh, structured here. It just kind of contains the price action. If the stock comes down, the bands expand. If the stock comes up, you know, typically it stays inside that trading range. Whenever you've got a smaller band, like we're going to learn about down here, uh, kind of in the middle uh, on the, the lower portion here, uh, this means there's not a lot of volatility. And then, of course, the bands will expand as the volatility gets going. And for the most part, you see the majority of the price action of this stock has been contained inside those bands. That's what makes these a really powerful tool. Even when we do get outside the bands, it's also very powerful because it gives us some signals and we can understand a little bit about what the volatility is doing and what some signals are, are getting triggered with those uh, pictures there. So let me tell you a little bit about this guy, John Bollinger. John Bollinger is a former analyst on the Financial News Network. Today, you know that as CNBC. If you were around in the 1980s, you might have known it as the Financial News Network, but today it's CNBC. And John Bollinger was there early on in the 1980s. In fact, he was one of the first technical analysts on the air with the Financial News Network. Uh, he is the founder of Bollinger Capital. Today, if you uh, go look for his work, you'll find a lot of stuff related to Bollinger Capital, which is his company. He is, of course, the creator of the Bollinger Bands, and he's really what we would consider a modern technical analysis titan. He's uh, changed the way that we analyze a lot of stock. The, the use of the Bollinger Bands has uh, you know, permeated everything in the world of technical analysis today. It's in every charting software, and he's a living legend, uh, truly. So he's a great guy and a great contributor to the world of trading. Now, let's talk about why Bollinger Bands are so powerful. You know, stocks are an interesting thing to study. Whenever we go out and we start drawing lines on a stock, it's it's a very definitive high, it's a very definitive low. Well, what John Bollinger discovered, as have a lot of other traders, is stocks aren't always that black and white. It's not always specific. And so what the Bollinger Bands do is they give us a way to start adding in what we would consider a relative component. Stocks, uh, the Bollinger Bands, I should say, show us where a stock is high or low on a relative basis. That is a really important word here, relative. Because unlike so many of our other analysis tools, which are very definite, the Bollinger Bands are very flexible. If the stock is really high, the bands really expand to go with that. If it's really low in volatility, it really contracts to go along with that. So it's a very relative tool. And that's one of the things that makes this tool so powerful for us. It's a very, very uh, powerful way of looking at your stocks. It reveals stock trends, and it also provides a very visual way to look at trade setups that are very easy to identify. And another cool thing about the Bollinger Bands, one of the things that makes it so powerful is in and of itself, it can create or can be used to create a complete trading system. So the bands, if you don't want to go through all the process of drawing support and resistance lines and you know all the other tools that we often teach here at TradeSmart, you can use the Bollinger Bands as a way to start that framework and you can build a complete trading system just off of these tools alone. By the time we're done with this program, I hope that you've got all those tools available to you so you could use this entire Bollinger trading system as a complete system if that's what you would choose to do with your trading.